All right, Neil McGilvray uh, from Rockets Magazine, MDRA, out here at BlackRock, day one at 10.48 in the morning. I'm two minutes fast, but who's counting? Uh, I want to thank Scott Semprush and Bob Utley for putting this together. Big surprise to find that it made its way all the way out from Maryland to the uh, expanses of Black Rock. Uh, so the first time the cow's been out in in Black Rock. So we're going to put Utter Madness up on an M1500. Scott made the motor, and uh, once again, I appreciate the effort in it. Big surprise. So we'll put it up about 6,500 feet, not too high, just a fun flight. Scott just launched his Narcissa to about 25 plus thousand feet on a piece, so uh, this is going to pale in comparison. All right, we've got another launch coming up at right, the uh, Away one. Cell, straight out where that P motor took off from a little bit earlier. Uh, this is uh, Neil McGillivray out of um, Westminster, Missouri. Utter Madness is the name of the rocket, Utter Madness, six inch diameter, eight feet tall, weighs 40 pounds. Flying on an M is in Mother 1500, uh, experimental motor, 3 inch, and this rocket is launching in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. Very nice. Good job, Scott. I don't think it jumped quite as much as it did at Potter. Jim Javis is supposed to be going in 15 minutes. Yeah, I know. Well, it worked, and it was beeping. I was hearing eights, although it might be compensating for being almost 4,000 feet above sea level. So when you subtract where we are and where it went and where it landed, I think we had about a 400-foot flight. All right. Well, that's 400 feet more than it would have had. Yeah, if I had made the motor. Yep. Yep, Scott did a good job. Yeah, he did. Did a good job on his rocket. Did a good job on getting mine prepped. So now he knows how to fly a cow. We'll just have to give him the big one next. There you go. <laughs> That's a true test of recovery. Bring it on. Let's go. That's a true test. Now I carried it out of a field, a maize field or whatever it is. Yeah, if you can recover that big boy, then, then you've joined the big parachute club. So no ground beef today, huh? No, unfortunately not. No chicken again tonight. <laughs>